Getting pregnant and having a baby is the joy of most women when they get married. But do you know what is happening? A lot of women go into the pharmacy to get supplements because their friends or colleagues told them to get this particular supplement. Do you know that there are some things you should watch out for when picking the right supplement when you want to get pregnant? And welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as the nurse with a difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the vitamins, the minerals that you should take note of when trying to get pregnant. Let me gist you something. When I was in my midwifery posting, like my community head posting, I was working as a midwife or student midwife, they say. When I was there, when women come, when women, they come for their antenatal, we give them the folic acid, so we give them the iron, vitamin C, vitamin D, calcium, and all that. We give them at the different stages of pregnancy. And all these tablets comes differently. But today, we can just get one tablet and have all these tablets in it. What do I mean by that? You can have one tablet that contains vitamin C, vitamin D, that contains folic acid, that contains iron, that contains calcium. So what I'm going to be sharing in this video is what you should take note of when picking those supplements. Basically, we can get these vitamins, these minerals from the food we eat, from our food choices, by taking good balanced diet and also our lifestyle, what we do. This can help us to get the vitamins and minerals that we need but sometimes we might not be getting enough of that minerals of that vitamins and we need supplements and we need these supplements to help us meet up with the body need as a pregnant woman or as a woman trying to get pregnant so i'm going to be sharing all these vitamins with you all these minerals all these things that you need all the supplements that you need and also the two most important that you should take note of that you should look at when looking at that small bottle Talk about the first supplement that is very important guess what it is i know what you are thinking and i'm going to tell you so the first one is folic acid let me tell you something. The power of folic acid should not be underestimated when it comes to getting pregnant. Folic acid should be taken before pregnancy commence because it helps for the baby growth. It helps to prevent birth defect. You may want to ask what birth defect do folic acid help prevent? Folic acid helps to prevent spinal bifida. Spinal bifida is a defect in which the spinal cord does not close properly. You can see what's on the screen. And it also helps to prevent brain defects such as anencephaly. Anencephaly is a condition in which parts of the brain or skull are not formed. They are not there. You can see what is showing on the screen. So when you take folic acid, even before pregnancy, it helps to make sure that the neural tubes are properly formed. So if you are a woman trying to get pregnant, it is advisable you take 400 micrograms of folic acid every day before pregnancy and also 12 weeks after the pregnancy that's 12 when you are 12 weeks pregnant you can take that folic acid because seriously folic acid is very important when it comes to the formation of the brain and the spinal cord and you know that the brain and the spinal cord are very very important when it comes to a child's development if the brain and the spinal cord are not properly formed the baby is going to come out deformed and you as a mother will not be happy the second supplement i have to share with you is iron yes iron is very very important when it comes to formation of the blood yes hemoglobin you know hemoglobin is important part of the red blood cells so they help to transport nutrients oxygen and carbon dioxide um for the iron iron is basically not for everybody it's usually for the vegetarians those that are vegan they don't take meat they only eat vegetables because iron are usually found in meats they are not found in vegetables so it's advisable for those 
those that are vegetarians to start taking iron as soon as possible to help bring their blood volume up that can support the mother during pregnancy and also the baby. So if you are a young lady and basically you know that you don't eat enough meat and your hemoglobin is low or your blood level is low, it is advisable you take iron to help increase hemoglobin production, to help increase iron production so that it can help you and the baby during pregnancy. Am I clear? Well, there's a side effect of iron you should take note of, and that is constipation. So when taking iron, it's advisable you take fruits, a lot of fruits alongside to help with easy digestion and to help prevent constipation. What I want to share with you is calcium. Yes, calcium. It's advisable for women who are pregnant or who wants to get pregnant to take 1,000 to 1,300 micrograms of calcium. Why? Calcium has a role to play when it comes to bone development, teeth development, and things like that. And also, when you take calcium, it helps to prevent chances of preeclampsia and hypertension in pregnancy. So it's advisable when you are hypertensive, speak to your midwife, speak to your doctors. They can give you useful advice when it comes to the use of calcium and also prevention of preeclampsia and hypertension in pregnancy pregnancy we all know that hypertension in pregnancy and preeclampsia can lead to miscarriages can lead to the loss of baby and i don't want that to happen calcium can also improve the baby's health and also the mother's health next supplement i would like to share with you is vitamin d vitamin d yes vitamin d is a very very important supplement that women that are trying to conceive should take why research has shown that women that have more vitamin d are more likely to get pregnant and stay pregnant than those who are deficient of vitamin d so do you know how many level of vitamin d you have so like seriously if you are a woman trying to get pregnant it is easier it is better for you to start taking vitamin d because vitamin d increases your chances of getting pregnant and not just getting pregnant but staying pregnant and carrying the baby to term. so vitamin d is also an important supplement same way folic acid is important when it comes to the formation of the neural tube then the other one i have to share with you is vitamin b12 yes vitamin b12 is essential for the formation of red blood cells same way we talk about remember we talk about iron iron is essential for the formation of red blood cells vitamin b12 is also essential for the formation of red blood cells and people who should take this particularly are those that are vegetarians those that don't eat meat because like earlier said this um iron vitamin b12 they are usually found in meat but vegetarians they don't take it so they don't really have the chance of getting this vitamin b um, 12. So if you are a veggie, a vegetarian and you eat more of vegetables than meat, it is advisable you take vitamin B12 when trying to conceive or when and also when you are pregnant. The other supplement is omega TV fatty acid. Yes, omega TV fatty acid. Omega TV fatty acid helps with baby's brain development and their eyes development. It also helps with hormonal imbalance and reduce inflammation so it's advisable you also check for omega-3 fatty acid when looking for that supplement when looking for that supplement so other supplements that can be added to fertility supplements are choline and iodine all these also help for brain development and the baby's growth in general so my take is when you are trying to get pregnant there are two specific supplements that you should always check and that is folic acid and vitamin d whenever you are asking oh not Mercy mary can i get this brand of a fertility treatment can i get this brand can i get this bottle check does this bottle has folic acid does it have vitamin d in it because these two supplements are very very important remember i said that vitamin d increases the chances of fertility treatments working when compared to those that are deficient of vitamin d so vitamin d folic acid are very very important if you are a vegetarian make sure you have a lot of iron and vitamin b12 yes if possible check the, uh, the bottle properly and look for omega-3 acid omega-3 fatty acid and all the supplements i just listed but never underestimate the power of folic acid and vitamin d
yeah vitamin d anyway thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is nosmes mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video